Do you want powerful apps to respect your privacy? It will probably be using every single day. I picked 10 simple fast Linux apps you should have installed right now. Each solves a problem and will allow you to do basically anything on your system that you will be using for daily use. So let's say you want to browse the web. I recommend that you basically just keep using Firefox. It is still a pretty fast browser and it works like you expect a web browser should. Right above, you can sign in and start syncing across all your devices. Linux is open source, so it respects your privacy and it has some performance. And it gets updated regularly. The second one is if you need to use documentation files and everything, what is the most obvious of all? Just use LibreOffice. They have a very broad app collection, which is completely open source. And free of course. Right here we have download LibreOffice. If you want to try it out. And it's available for multiple Linux distros. So the applications they have is Writer, which is pretty much Microsoft Word. Calc, which is the same as Microsoft Excel. Impress, which is the same as PowerPoint. Draw, which is pretty nice if you're a graphical editor. Base is useful for a data management system. A math is a formula editor for creating and editing mathematical equations. I would assume you only need the first three. The third one is very useful if you want to have an email and calendar inside the same app. It's open source and free and it is called Thunderbird. Thunderbird is completely free to use and it has a calendar built right into the app. Also your email itself, it can add multiple accounts to the same application. So let's say if you have Gmail, Microsoft or Apple, doesn't matter, you can connect it to Thunderbird, it's completely free, you have your email and your calendar inside this app. The fourth one is pretty useful if you want to set up your own private server. I recommend that you use Nextcloud Desktop. Nextcloud is completely open source. You can host your own private cloud. It's available for desktop and for mobile. Windows, Mac OS and of course Linux. If you don't want to set up your own one, here's a bonus tip. One I actually use but only for smaller files. It is called Sync. Secure Cloud Storage and 5 gigabytes is free. This is what I use for my own personal things. The fifth one you might possibly need is a password manager. This one is called KeyPass XD. It is a secure and open source password manager and is available for macOS, Windows, Linux and also as a browser extension. So right here let's click on install for Firefox and you can change multiple things on the extension and this is pretty much how it looks like. You have all your passwords with every single website you went to and it's all easily saved and auto fills when you use it. The sixth one is for your notes and to do. If you have to note something down, it is called Joplin. It's an excellent open source note taking application with a lot of features. Right here we can download the app and it's available for Windows, Mac OS and for Linux. And of course also for mobile applications, Android and iOS. It can even create them in dark and PDF. You can make a new to-do, like buy the milk or feed the cat. And below you can make a notebook, note and toggle the sidebar. They are very easy and open source. This one I think you already know because there is no better media player than VLC. VLC pretty much supports everything like all of these, MKV and more of course. And of course MP4, pretty much anything. You can think of it runs on windows linux mac os ios and android i'm just saying i really like the android app it has more customization than windows or linux i'm just saying i wish they had that on the desktops but still pretty good supports pretty broad can easily watch your movies madagascar whatever you want the eighth one is pretty useful it is for screenshots and annotations it is called open shop it's open source screenshot software right here you have a root a beautiful window of how it would look like for you when you want to make screenshots so you have some drawing tools and everything like that while making a screenshot and you send it and simple to use by the way in this video i'm actually only showing you these apps but not really how they directly work if you want me to do any deep dives make sure to subscribe and consider commenting down below i'll make a deep dive on the specific application and not waste your time right now the ninth one is a clipboard manager you probably want to use. This project is called Copy Cre 
Q. It's very useful for saving your screenshots and images. And it's completely free to use. And if you go to the GitHub page, then scroll down, we see it's available for Windows, for Ubuntu and for macOS, and also Fedora. The 10th one is also very useful and has a matrix client for messaging and collaboration. It's very good for end-to-end -end encrypted messages, great for privacy for your team. It is called Element. Secure collaboration and messaging. Right here you can see a beautiful UI it has on Android and iOS. And it is also supported for Mac, Linux, Windows, and you also have it on web. If you want to try it out for yourself before downloading anything. So right here is how it looks like on the desktop. It's quite useful if you want to talk about specific subjects and everything in a room. And the UI looks pretty good. What I use myself is not secure completely, but it has a multi messaging app and it's called Beeper. All your chats in one app. I actually try use this. I actually use this a lot. Uh, Instagram, X, Telegram, pretty much everything. WhatsApp, of course. It has all of these apps right here. It's what I'm using right now. It's not open source, I believe. Is it open source? Normally, I would see that. No, it's not open source. But still, I use this. And if you have more things that I use personally, please subscribe and comment down below what kind of thing you're searching for. I use different kind of apps because I use Windows and my Android phone for five. Just let me know if I can help you with anything. Comment down below which app you already had installed so we can check which of these cool open source apps is used most often. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.